Toby had been welcomed warmly on Thomas's branch line. He loved chuffing through the village, cheerfully ringing his bell as people waved. The villagers were quite taken with their new tram engine, much to Thomas's chagrin. One evening, Toby and Henrietta were bringing the workmen home from the quarry. The trucks, loaded with stone, rattled behind him. They had just left the quarry and were crossing the road when they heard an awful screech. Toby stopped, with the trucks blocking the road. The driver and guard went along the train, looking for the problem. One of the truck's brakes slipped on, Toby, the driver explained. It must have been loose. Won't take long to fix. Toby sat patiently as the crew tended to the truck. Suddenly, he saw something up the road. The constable who had given Thomas trouble came speeding towards him on a bicycle. And what's going on here? demanded the constable. Trouble with the wagon brakes, sir, Toby explained. Won't be long until we're on our way. This won't do, grumbled the constable. You are blocking a busy public road. Toby glanced up and down the road. There wasn't a car in sight. Uh, it doesn't look very busy at the moment, sir, Toby remarked innocently. Don't get smart with me, snapped the constable. You engines are nothing but lawbreakers. He scribbled furiously in his notebook, stormed back to the guard, thrust a ticket towards him, and rode off in a huff. Obstruction of traffic, the guard cried. Nonsense! When the truck's brakes had been fixed, Toby set off, quite dumbfounded. I don't understand, Toby said to Thomas that night. There wasn't a car to be seen. I think that constable has it out for us. Sir Topham Hatt won't be happy about that ticket. Thomas snorted. <laughs> Perhaps you're not the solution he thought you'd be after all. Thomas shut his eyes and promptly went to sleep. Toby chuckled and followed suit. Outrageous! Sir Topham Hatt shouted next morning as he furiously hung up the telephone. He leaned back in his chair and sighed heavily. The butler came in. More coffee, sir? He asked, topping up Sir Topham's cup. More coffee is certainly welcome, Winston, he remarked. These policemen are more trouble than they're worth. He sipped his coffee, pondering what to do. Later that day, Toby was heading along the farm lane with some trucks. He was still cross over what had happened, and the trucks knew they had best behave themselves. As he came up the lane, he could see the constable on his bicycle. Toby exited the lane and was just starting through the town when a car shot out in front of him. Oh! Toby cried. Look out! The constable hadn't heard the car, but it was headed right towards him. Without hesitation, Toby rang his bell loudly. The constable heard that. He fell off his bicycle onto the sidewalk, just in time to avoid the car. It sped off down the road and disappeared. Toby halted near where the constable sat bewildered. Are you all right, sir? He asked. Just what do you think you're playing at? demanded the constable, rubbing his back. Uh, but the car... Stow it, barked the constable. I'll be reporting you for this. Mark my words. Before Toby could reply, Bertie Bus came roaring up. Toby, are you all right? That car didn't hit you, did it? No, Bertie. 
I'm just fine. Thank goodness. He gave my passengers a good fright. That was some real quick thinking on your part. What's this? demanded the constable. You're in cahoots with this engine? The driver and passengers stormed out of Bertie and marched up to the constable. Look here, fumed the driver. Toby's a hero. If it weren't for him, you'd... you'd... well, you'd be in a sorry state, let me tell you. Now will you stop pestering Toby and try catching the real criminal, he finished, pointing after the car. The passengers, continuing to scowl at the constable, mumbled in agreement. Uh, well, I... he stammered. I couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone turned to see Sir Topham Hatt and the chief of police. First, you disrupt the work of my engines. Now, you pin the blame of someone else's actions on them. I must say, Constable, your actions don't leave me with much faith in the police. I assure you, Sir Topham, grumbled the chief, we'll be taking action to ensure this never happens again. He motioned angrily for the constable to follow him. S sorry he stammered before silently walking after the chief. I don't think we'll have any further issues with him, Sir Topham had chuckled, winking at Toby. Toby had never been so relieved. That night, Toby backed into the sheds to find Thomas smiling. Well done, Toby, he chuckled. Oh, nothing to it, Toby said modestly. You've got to look out for the people on your line, no matter their behavior. Not that, I mean the constable. You should have seen how he jumped when you rang your bell. Not so tough after all, I suppose. Toby smiled. It certainly hadn't been done for a laugh. But he couldn't help feeling that, by saving the constable, he'd made a friend of Thomas.